Welcome to this episode of Wobble Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to create and use an email contact group in Gmail. If you're sending out regular emails to large groups of people, it can be a pain to enter lots of contacts manually every time. A much faster way to do this is to create what Gmail calls an email contact group. If you're familiar with Outlook, you might know this as a distribution list. Creating a group email list to reuse in Gmail is easy to do, but can be a little tricky to find. In this guide, we'll go through how to add an email contact group on a web browser. It's a slightly different process to add a group contact list on an Android mobile device. Check out this Woggle Shorts guide shown above to find out how to do that. The link for that guide is also in the description below. If you want to go straight to the info you're interested in without all the messing about, click on any section below to go straight to that part of the guide. Please do subscribe if you like what you see so we can let you know when new guides are published. Let's start by looking at how to create that Gmail contact group. In order to create a group email list for Gmail, we need to start in Google Contacts. If you're not familiar with it, Google Contacts is a tool that every Google user has access to, and it's a single place where you can manage all your contact details that you use in Gmail and a number of other Google products. Google Contacts can be found quite easily by searching for it or going directly to the web link shown on screen. If you're logged into Google already, you can also visit the Google homepage and click on the square icon in the top right. You'll see that the Contacts app is one of the options shown. I'll click on that. Once in Google Contacts, we're shown a list of all our contacts. It's quite likely that you may need to add a new contact to this app as part of your group email setup. To do that, click on the Create Contact button in the top left. You'll see there are two options shown. For this guide, I'll demonstrate how to add a single contact. But if you're interested in adding multiple contacts, this is more useful if you're working with large email lists or contact groups, usually larger than about 10 people. Then check out the Woggle guide shown above for an explanation of how to do that. To add a contact, click on the Create a Contact option. A new page appears which then allows you to enter their contact details. I'm only going to add a name and email address in this case. And to create that contact, I'll click on the Save button. The new profile for that contact is then shown. To return to our contacts list, I'll just click on the contacts link in the left hand menu. To create an email contact group, I'll move my mouse pointer over one of the contacts I want to add to the group. You'll see that the contact is highlighted and a checkbox appears on the left hand side of that row. I'm going to click that checkbox to select the contact. I'll use the same method to select a small number of other contacts. You can see I've now selected five contacts. The next step is to create a group using those contacts. To do that, if I focus on the top menu row, I'm going to move to the Manage Labels icon. And if I click on that, you see we have an option to create label. If I click once on that, we're asked to confirm the group name. Let's quickly enter that and click Save to confirm it. And you'll see that my new group has now been added to the left hand menu. If we click into that, we can confirm that all our contacts have been added correctly. And that's all we need to do in the Google Contacts app. Let's now move on to how we can send an email using the contact groups. You can use your group contact list in two ways. Firstly, to send just a simple email where all the email recipients see each other's email addresses. In most cases, that should be fine. However, there might also be situations, say if you're sending out a professional newsletter, where you don't want each person that receives the email to see any other recipient's email addresses. I'll show you how to send emails using both methods. Let's start with the simple email method. I'll click on the Compose email icon in the top left of the inbox. This opens a new email window. Moving to the To field for that email, I'll type in the name of the contact email group we created and click on that to choose it. You'll see that each email address is added separately and can be deleted or added depending on how you want to tailor the group contact list. If I then click the large blue send button to send that email off and then hop over to one of the email recipients inboxes, if I click on that new email, you'll see that all of the email addresses in the group are visible to everyone that's received the email. Let's now look at how you can send an email to that same group without showing every email address. Let's open another email window by clicking on the Compose Mail icon. 
To hide the addresses in the email contact list, we need to create what's called a blind email. To do that, we start by putting our own email address in the To field. So effectively, we're sending a copy of the email address to ourselves. We then need to add our email contact list to a special field in this section of the email, which isn't shown by default in Gmail. It's called the BCC field, which is an acronym for Blind Carbon Copy, and can be found in Gmail at the end of the To row. To open that field, simply click on BCC, and the new row will appear. Once the BCC field is visible, all we need to do is add our email contact list by entering the name we chose originally. Now you'll see that all the email addresses are displayed just as with the open email send. However, if I click the large blue send button to send that email off, and if I then pop into one of the recipient's email addresses, you can see that the email received only shows the original email address from which it was sent and does not display the email addresses of any other recipients. The last area we'll look at in this guide is how to amend or add to an existing Gmail contact group. To do that, we need to return to the Google Contacts app. So we're on the contacts listing page and you can see on the right of this page, it displays the labels or contact groups that each contact is linked with. You'll also notice that one of our contacts isn't in a group. To add them to an existing group, we simply click on their details. And if I click on the three dots icon on the far right of this row, you'll see we're shown a number of options, including the existing labels that this contact can be added to. To add them to a contact group, we just need to choose which group we want to add them to by clicking on it. And then if we click outside that options list, Google Contacts confirms that they've been added to that contact group label. Clicking into that contact group, you can then also visually confirm the contact has been added. To remove someone from a contact group, we just click into their contact room, click on more options, and unchoose the group label they've been added to. And you'll see that they're then removed from this group. Two last quick points on contact groups. If you want to edit the contact group label, click on the pencil icon next to the group name where you can make any amends. To delete a contact group, click on the waste bin icon also shown next to the group name. Be a little careful here as you're given two options. Firstly, to delete just the label, but to keep the contacts. Or secondly, to delete both the contact and the group label. If you delete the contacts, then you will need to re-enter them back into Google Contacts. I hope you find this Wobble Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks for watching. And do look after yourself until next time.